Hello, happy Saturday, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. We are back on Acorn Archimedes again and today we are looking at the, uh, let's have a look in the floppy drive, see what we got. Chuck Rock, so let's have a look how Chuck Rock plays on the Acorn Archimedes. So let's load this, hope you all having a nice Saturday. I uh, earlier fixed my PlayStation 3 um, that I got for Christmas by my wonderful girlfriend. Um, it had a problem with the hard drive, so I had to replace it. It took me a while to figure out how to uh, to get the uh, operating system back onto the new hard drive, but I did it in the end. So, yep, so that's nothing to do with this video. I apologise about that, but yep. So the birds were singing, the weather was fine. Chuck, well, oh, I didn't give me enough time to read it because I was blabbering on about PlayStation 3. Anyway, so this is Chuck Rock on the Acorn Archimedes. Is there any sound to this? Can't hear any. Not sure if this is supposed to be sound. We can skip it anyway. Let's just skip that. Uh, that's some sort of like introduction sequence to the game. Okay, so now I've got to insert the emulated disc too. So bear with me while I do that. So let's, uh, let's do this. So you won't be able to see what I'm doing on the screen, but I'm just literally inserting disc two in the uh, emulated file. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, press fire. Now you can hear that the uh, floppy drive is loaded disk. I've got the emulated disk drive sounds. So we've got a band playing here. The music sounds pretty good. Sounds very Amiga like, doesn't it? I'll shut up a bit so you can listen. So yeah, beautiful uh, title screen with the uh, band playing the guitars and stuff. So let's start the game. This is by Core Design. They later went on to make games such as uh, Tomb Raider and stuff. If you bear with me a minute, I'm just going to adjust the screen because it seems to have gone a bit lopsided. So let's uh, do that now. So I can make it a bit, uh, a bit better. It looks like it's in a sort of uh, 16 by 9 when sorry about the stretching if I try and do it see I can't well you can make it back to front I didn't know that it's got to look stretched a bit because the uh, emulator isn't set up right for uh, 4.3 displays so this is gonna have to be the best I'm gonna get it so let's start the game and see what we got now I don't know what the controls are on this okay I think the icon emulated the icons changing the uh, uh, what you call it, it's changing resolutions, so that's why I'm getting screen issues. But, okay, so yep, here we go. So this is uh, Chuck Rock. I need to, uh, yep, so let's have a look at this one. So what are the controls? Z is left, X is right. It probably works with a joystick as well, but I haven't got a joystick port plugged in. So it seems to be Z is left, X is right, P is jump, L is duck, and spaces to fire. Okay, so that's that that's, reminds me of some of the uh, games back in the day of um, like Spectrum and stuff. It was like the alternative to QALP and space. Right, okay, so this is Chuck Rock. We've got no music in game, sadly. I always like music in game, but this one doesn't have that. Got some nice sound effects there. Okay, so let's proceed on. So we've got some parallax scrolling going on here, which I always love, as you know, if you've been watching Game of Day. Uh, so can I pick up this rock? I don't know. Get that heart here. So the graphics are nice. You've got some nice detail in the environment. It's nice like palm tree, trees and stuff. And like these wildlife, etc. Flowers. So I can't remember. I played this a long time ago on the Amiga. I can't remember if um, the Amiga version had music in game or not. But this one definitely doesn't. So we use this dinosaur to sort of like get us plus a swamp. Or whatever that is, it looks like a swap to me because it's green in colour. Parallax scrolling is good on this. It's 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 really uh, sort of like adds to the depth. Ooga booga, adds to the depth of the game. The game was uh, all. I'm not sure about the icon Archimedes, but the game was followed by a sequel. I think it was called Son of Chuck Rock, and you played as a kid or something. I can't remember much about that one. Right. Okay. So. This game is on multiple formats, such as Amiga has already mentioned, the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum, or probably almost every console and computer you can think of. 
It's weird to think that the Acorn Archimedes is like a superior system that was followed on from the family of the BBC Micro. It's it's kind of strange, isn't it? My uh, own, I've got a BBC Micro Model B myself, but unfortunately it's 40. I'm going to get a Mutant Cat for the games. Really recommended company to uh, service it and have a look what's wrong with it. I think it might be uh, one of the ICs have failed. Maybe the Teletext chip or maybe it's got worse problems, but that's nothing to do with this video. Again, I keep rambling on about stuff that's got nothing to do with this video. So, okay, so yeah, Acorn Archimedes, game of day, um, Chuck Rock. I could do with, uh, if anyone ever wants to sell a, sell a Acorn Archimedes for cheap, let me know because I've, I've always wanted one. This is emulated. Of Emulated, of course, because I haven't got the system. So, yeah, so that was Chuck Rock on the Acorn Archimedes. A very good game, good graphics, nice parallax scrolling. Shame there's no Mushi King game, but uh, yeah, that's what you come to expect from some games. Um, you either get Mushi or sound effects back in the day. This Mushi on the title screen is pretty good, though. And uh, yep, so I was using Arculator version 2.1 for Windows to emulate it and using OBS Studio just in case anyone's wondering to record it. And uh, I used DaVinci Resolve to uh, try and get audio levels right, which I could never normally master because I'm not that good of an editor. But I've got another video coming up tomorrow that's not, not going today, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, yep, so I'm going to give Chuck Rock, and I've also at 5 o'clock, of course, uh, Game of Day continues. If you've got any game suggestions for Icon or Archimedes, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already done, done so. And uh, I'm going to give this one subscribe, I will say subscribing really does help my channel out. So. I'm going to give this one um, 7 out of 10, just because it hasn't got Mushik in game. Other than that, pretty good game. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Goodbye. Now I'm going to have some pizza and a glass of wine. After this video. Goodbye.